With an increasing flow of Indians traveling abroad, the outbound market has become very lucrative. Think Strawberries has already a long experience in representing prestigious destinations such as Taiwan, Jordan, Maldives, or Yas Island in Abu Dhabi. Amit Kishore, the co-founder of Think Strawberries, talks about the best strategies to adopt. The outbound business again is going to, I think, just, it's going to just explode in the next few years. With that also starts the opportunity for the representation business because more and more clients and partners would like to come and get the Indian, part of the Indian market, right? So, and that's where we are positioning Think Strawberries to be ready, cutting edge, right in the face. Uh, you know, doing some lot. We are using a lot of technology. We are, we are, we are, we are adopting, you know, uh, methods and you know, uh, ways to improve our business efficiency, uh, and that's really connecting well with our with our overseas partners. For Think Strawberries, digital technologies are now essential to reach its targets and to differentiate itself from competitors. As the tourism sector is quickly adopting new practices in terms of representation and is increasingly data-driven. I think for the representation, what we're trying to do is connect our clients, uh, you know, through apps. And we're also trying to, you know, no one has today the time to wait for responses. And, you know, there was a time when if a press release had to go, they could give you two or three days to do that. Now they want it right there, online, uploaded there and then. So we are connecting with them on a lot of software technology where, where, where it's everything real time. We are very, very data-driven now. Uh, and I think that's going to happen more and more as, as the business changes. And I think technology will continue to create a lot of disruptions. And overall, I think it's very good for the business. Because you take the cost down, it will, it will bring a lot of efficiency to the business. And more and more people will continue to, to travel. So I think that's good. The company believes strongly in the development of the luxury segment for outbound Indian travelers. From family experiences to theme parks, from very niche trips around wine experience or sport events, the potential is huge. That's a segment of that we need to fulfill because there are people who want that luxury holiday. There, I'm not saying it's not there, but it's not to the level where it should be. There is a very big vacuum of big luxury products coming and selling. For example, I see a lot of demand now for Africa. You know, people want to see the wildlife side, and you know, but there. Every time people wonder that how will they go from A park to B park with 10 hour drives. But when you look at the private connectivity of small planes, which can take you in 30 minutes, now those are very luxury. They are probably more expensive than the stay at a lodge. Right? So that's the luxury product that needs to come in. Think Strawberries is now expanding its global strategy. It has opened an office in Dubai and plans to develop more geographically and in terms of acquisitions. We now want to migrate to China because our, we want to complete the rim from India, China and then we go to Australia. So I think we will very quickly announce the, very shortly announce the partnership with China and then Australia. So I think our whole focus is now to move out of India. We should be doing close to 50% of our business globally as opposed to just in India. We are also looking at some buyouts. We've lined up funds to acquire some smaller representation companies which are maybe not able to compete in this environment. Uh, so we would like to change the ecosystem there and you know, bring in our best practices and, and help them compete better in that environment. So, so I think that's a very clear focus uh, for our company.